All right, now what I'm going to do here is do another video uh, of my Veloster uh, Turbo driving with the exhaust. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear it a little clearer. I've got the driver's side window open and I'm just about to start it up and then we'll take it for a spin. Okay, here we go. Now, right now I've just started the engine. Uh, we're under a thousand RPM, hovering uh, about 800 RPM. And I'm going to rev it to 3,000 RPM and hold it for a quick bit, and then I'll drop it. That's 3,000 RPM held. Now I'm going to rev it up to 4,000 and hold it. And this is 4,000 RPM. Now I'm going to drop it again. Okay, now I'm going to proceed and we'll see what it sounds like. For a Sunday afternoon, the weather's not too bad. There's no snow. Uh, temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. And uh, it's quite mild out. So hopefully I can op uh, open up the uh, throttle a little and you can hear recording because I know my last video it didn't really uh, it was actually quite quiet the exhaust so hopefully with the driver's uh, uh, window rolled down you can probably hear it a little better okay Now you will notice, because this driver's side window is down, you will definitely hear the exhaust a little more. You can probably even hear the cold air intake sucking in the air. I'm in uh, fifth gear now, just over 2,000 RPM, and hopefully you won't hear any wind noise. Uh, definitely, practically zero drone, so you won't hear any uh, obnoxious, annoying uh, sounds inside the car or out. Downshifting. We're gonna make a left over here. Definitely much better improvement in terms of exhaust note uh, compared to the stock uh, Veloster turbo exhaust. So if you do want a little more performance, you will definitely feel it as the auto opens up a little and it breathes better. Obviously, I've combined it with a cold air intake from engine, um, but definitely a better throttle response. You can definitely step on it and you will feel it much uh, better in terms of the pull. Okay, we'll just try to get a full route after I make the turn here. I'm in second gear now, so be a fashion. Now I better hold up on the speed. I'm over 80 kilometers, nearing 60 miles per hour. It definitely pulls much better. And you can see now this is cruising mode just under 80 kilometers or about 50 miles over 2000 rpm it's definitely quiet
driving about uh, just over 2200 RPM in third gear. I'll keep it recording just until I get to one of the main streets and then I'll turn it off from there. But hopefully you have a better idea of what it will sound like. Imagine when it's, you live in a warmer environment or if you're going to be uh, getting uh, into the summer, spring, summer season when you'll be driving with your window rolled down, then you have a better idea of what your exhaust note will sound like. Okay? Unfortunately, I'm stuck behind, behind the tow truck, so we'll have to wait until the, these lights turn, and then I'll make a left and go straight up. So, and so for the most part now, we are pretty much at idle, waiting at the stoplight. You'll see I'm idling at uh, just under around 800 RPM. Any noise you hear now will be from the outside, from other cars driving by. They're virtually uh, silent inside the car. You will hear a little uh, deep uh, burble sound, I guess you want to refer to the exhaust note. It purrs like a kitten. That's what some people have said. So here we go. This will be the final leg before uh, I stop the recording. Hopefully you have a better sense of uh, what it does sound like. Since this is a 50 zone, I can't uh, really do much in terms of full throttle. So we just kind of, you know, imagine this is in the city and uh, you know, just driving under normal daily driving conditions. It's actually, you know, much, uh, it's very highly tolerable. You're not going to be annoyed by the uh, droning. There is no drone. Uh, I think for the most part, if you wanted to do such a uh, kind of a modification, it is well worth it. It'll put a smile on you, on your face.